What's up guys, XHourKiwis here and welcome back to another video. As always, hopefully everybody's staying safe and is doing well. Um, as you can tell by the title today, there is a new Ed and Militao out and he looks incredible. Um, he's absolutely perfect for me. He will fit straight into my team, which is why I'm doing him straight away. Um, as you can see, I've got Allison on tradable as well. Got that Ramos, so he gets a straight, uh, strong link to Ramos and a soft link to Allison as well. Obviously, Alexander Arnold in game switches like that. So Militao for me is literally the perfect defender, and this will probably be my defense till the end of FIFA now. So I am very happy with a Militao. Um, there's a couple of other stuff out. I don't think there's a lot. I think the league SBC is out for the Super League. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Gustavo. I haven't looked at his card yet though. Um, if I go to players, I'll look at his card and then his in-game card as well. So yeah, it's a 90 Gustavo. I can't click on the card there. But I'm going to have to complete this Militao in two stages. Um, if I look at both though, like... It, I've seen a couple of people on Twitter say that the other Militao... Where is he? Did I click him into favour or what? Maybe I just went past him without realising. I mean, there's one Militao. Where's the other one? Is, is one in favourites and one just in players? Is that how it works? It is. I don't know why I've done that if I click them both to favourites. Um, yeah, some people have said this Militao's expensive. But if you look at an 88 rated squad, Hazard's got the exact same requirements and he was like 240k for the 88 and about 120 for the 86s. So this would come in at around 500k. I personally think 500k for this card is really good. Um, obviously team of the season card, end game centre back, we all know how good Militao is on this game already. Um, two star weak foot can be a bit of an issue for a centre back, not going to lie. I do prefer people having better weak foots all over the field but other than that it's just absolutely incredible there's a like there's literally nothing to moan about the card and we all know how OP Militao has been so 500k for that card with the links that he gets being Brazilian I think is brilliant this card the 87 obviously I'm going to do the 90 because I want the better version but if you can't afford this 90 card I think this Militao is sensational value for money if you watch my uh, my channel a lot, you'll know I hate SBCs. I love doing them, but they're always so overpriced. I literally moan about every player of SBC that comes out because they're expensive. This is so cheap. Like, it's less than 200k for an 87 rated team. 84s earlier today were going for literally 2k. Like, you could buy Depay's, uh, who's, who's the other one, Lataro Martinez. Like, they were literally 1.8k. So this is about 30k. Like you can do this for around 200k. And a lot of people have untradables in the club at the minute as well. This card for 200k is still phenomenal. Um, as I say, the 90 is obviously better. But if you can't afford the 90, then I would 100% say this card is worth doing as well. So for once, I've got to give props to EA. Doesn't happen often, but it'll happen today. I don't know why I went all the way that way to do it. I have got to do these in stages because I'm going to use basically all untradables and I don't want to build all three squads. Have to um, like use the same players twice accidentally and then have to do them all over again. So I'll do them squad by squad and then just bring you back. This is the first team that I'm going to use. I will look at Gustavo quickly first. Um, see what sort of card he's got. For a Super League though, 90 rated again is decent. I think we all got our hopes up massively. When we saw how good White was though. Because White the lead centre back was sensational. And then let's be fair. The Maguire and the Spanish League player have both been dreadful. But medium high. Perfect for CDM. 6-2. Really good. Three star weak foot. As I say I prefer them to be higher. But I know a lot of people from midfielders don't really have an issue with the weak foot. Click my PC so it doesn't turn off. Dives into tackles. I mean leadership. They're, they're pointless. But. To be fair, it looks like a really nice card. Pace is fine. I actually prefer acceleration to be higher than sprint speed, so that's fine. Attacking doesn't matter. Although, if you do want to take a long shot, that like you might with CDMs, his shot power and long shots are obviously sensational. Agility and balance are quite high for a guy that's 6'2". Honestly, 77-77 really isn't that bad for, this, for a CDM that's 90 rated. Reactions... And Composure 99 as well. I actually think this is a sensational card. Again, I think this has been a brilliant day for EA. Which, again, people always call me negative on this channel. But, I think this is a really good day. The only one letting him down is defending. In head, is a head and accuracy, which really doesn't matter anyway. 
And other than that, defence physical is insane. Passing's incredible. Brazilian as well, so it does get links. I actually think that's a really good card. Really good. Um, I know a lot of people do League SBC methods now and would have saved the League SBC pack. So, yeah, I if you are struggling for a CDM, I'd say he looks brilliant. That being said, this is the team I'm going to use for the 88 rate squad. This Cancelo, people will say, is incredible. I've played eight games with him. Obviously, I've got the Ramos right back. He's not going to play above him for me. And I've got the team of the season, Alexander-Arnold, now, so he's not going to play. Pope I completed for the fun of it for a video. Again, only played for, um, like, objectives. And everybody else is either untradeable or I can buy back. Like, Brandt's a nice card, don't get me wrong. Only played five games. I can buy him off the market if I want to. Um, yeah, everybody else is untradeable, I'm pretty sure. They are. Dybala untradeable as well. So, yeah. Again, Thiago, if I want him back, he's cheap to buy off the market. So, I can just go and get him. So, that's the 8-rated squad. Mega pack for an 88-rated team. Let's be fair. Pretty shit. But... It's, you're doing it more for the player than the packs this year, and you because let's be fair, the packs this year for SBCs back are terrible. But as I said, I'm going to build the squads one by one, and I've not got this squad built, so I will be right back. So this is the team I'm going to use for this one. Um, a lot of people might be a bit annoyed that I'm using a power, but I completed him ages ago, and he's not played a game. I showed my team at the start of the video, and he's just as good as he is. He just wouldn't get in the team anymore, and he's like terrible to link everybody else again is untradeable this Haji to me I don't have the Kent card so I can't even use him to get Kent on Kem so he's just utterly pointless to me and this inform is untradeable which is why I used him I could use this Tadic but Tadic is tradable so I'm gonna sell him and choose I've got so many untradeable ones in my club even if they're lower rated I'd rather use them again everybody else is untradeable um, you might think putting Varane and Marcelo in that in a bad, but they're untradeable to me, so it doesn't matter at all. Um, they're just going to be sat in the club collecting dust. Uh, they all came from. I got a lot of Real Madrid players actually: Carvajal, uh, James, Marcelo, Varane. I got them from the Spanish league pluses, so if I do some more of them, I'll probably get them again anyway. So premium gold players pack for that again. Not a great pack. I suppose you get some more players in the club, but overall, it's a pretty bad pack. And last but not least, oh, you don't actually need a team of the week for this one. So, just one Brazilian, 86 rated squad. Again, I'll be right back. And this is the team that I've built for the last one. Um, I have used Henderson, team of the season. He's untradeable in the club. And I've got a tradable one on the trade pile. So, I'll get rid of this one and put the other one straight back into my club anyway. So, I've not really lost the player. I've used one tradable player in Vardy. And that's because, again, I've got one set on the transfer list. And he's cheap as anything. This Vardy card, he's gone up a little bit now. This card was about 7k earlier today. Genuinely 7k for an 85. There was easy coins to be made. Obviously, I didn't buy him because I'm an idiot. But that being said, again, other than Vardy, every single one's tradable. If I want to sit free in again, I can go and complete the league SPC again. Um, and he's only played 14 games anyway. So I'll show you that they're all untradable. Again, they're all from the um, league upgrade packs. So just... We're always going to be used for SBCs at some point. And we complete him for a Prime Electrum Players Pack. I actually much prefer these to the Premium Gold Players Pack. Don't know if it's just me, but I think they're a lot better. And that does get us the Edda Militao. Who, as I said, does look sensational. Um, I am just going to take a few screenshots. Because I don't know if he walks out or not. I'm guessing he does. He does. But yeah, my PC doesn't record the screenshots well. And when it does, they come out fuzzy. So... It's easier for me to record a screenshot on the Xbox and then just upload it to um, OneDrive that way. But yeah, as I've said, sensational card. Um, th there's not much to say about it. As I've said many a times, we all know how good Militao is on this game. So yeah, just sensational. And if you can't afford him, his 87 looks incredible as well for the price. So like 200 k for his 87, which again is just fantastic. So, we'll open the packs. Can't imagine we'll get anything, but who cares? It's all about the Militao. Um, the fact that the 80... What is it? The 86, I think? The uh, Pink Boots Militao, who no longer has Pink Boots because EA took him away. Um, which definitely affected his card, by the way. Definitely played better in Pink Boots. But yeah, um, he was like 300k anyway, so... It, like, it's more value... It would have been more value today to complete the 87 than it would actually go out and buy the 86. I'm guessing the 86 now has gone down in price, but at the time, the 86 would have been more expensive than eight, that uh, 87 was. So, yeah, for me, today, B 
big props from EA. Oh, I think there, was, there might have been an objective. I don't know. I'll have a look after I've opened the packs. I'm not sure if there was an obje uh, objective player come out or not. I don't think there was. I didn't look, but I haven't seen anything on Twitter. So I'm guessing nothing's came out. Spanish player there. That'll go up to the upgrade pack. I've done a few of the upgrade packs. Haven't packed anything yet. I know a lot of people have been saying that they've uh, been doing the upgrade packs and packed something good. Congratulations if you have, or good luck if you are opening them. Anything there? No, nothing. So, nothing in the packs, but that's expected. It was all about the Militao card one. Let me know in the comments if you are going to complete it and what one you're going to complete. Because as I said, I, I think this is brilliant for me today. Probably one of the very few days in the last, like, two years that they've had a good day for me. But... No, like literally nothing wrong with today. The league SBC player looks brilliant. Nothing. Uh, no, nothing. Yeah, league SBC player looks brilliant. Both Militals look like beasts. So yeah, I'm happy for once. I will be live streaming later today. Um, if you did want to follow me on there, twitch.tv slash x underscore sour underscore kiwis. I'll leave a link in the description. As always, thank you for watching. Hopefully you are staying safe. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then that would really mean a lot. But that's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thank you for watching.